Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be discussing replies and alerts. We can create a reply by clicking on a markup, and then right-clicking on top of it, and reply is right here. Alerts will also be found in this subsection of the right-click menu, but they're only available in studio sessions. So when I click on reply, this new white box appears right here. I can type instructions and I can press the escape key. These seem to have disappeared, but they're located in the markups list. So we can activate our markups list by clicking on the three dots and three lines icon, and then we can click on our markup. It's important to open up the markups list first and then click on a markup because if you have the markup selected and then you open up the markups list, it's not going to necessarily highlight the markup. But now that the markups list is open, I can then select the markup. And underneath the markup, we can see that there's a reply associated to the markup. And under the comments column, we can see the instructions that I typed. So you can use replies as a set of instructions to prepare someone to make any changes or modifications to a markup. The alerts we're going to be looking at in studio sessions right now. So let's go to our studio icon. It should log me in automatically because I've already created an account. In Studio of Projects, the same reply functions apply there. So you can only use replies in Studio Projects because there isn't really a lot of collaboration in Studio Projects compared to Studio Sessions. Now let's go to the Studio Sessions tab. Let's open up this session for presentations. And let's look at one of the files. I'm going to close out of this local file. And I'm going to open up this one. This file is located on Studio Sessions. I can tell because of the icon next to the name. And here in Studio Sessions, I have several markups. Let's go to a markup that I haven't created. We can click on this markup, check in properties, and this is made by my colleague. So what I can now do is I can right click on the markup, I can create replies, and here's the alert attendee function. Let's create a reply first. We're going to say, please make this change. So replies, once again, are a set of instructions. And then we can click on the markup, right click on it, alert attendee, choose an attendee. It has to be an attendee that's already joined the session. I can choose anybody. It doesn't have to be the owner of the markup. So I'm going to choose Alex in this case. I'm going to click on OK. And now they will have an alert that will flash in their notifications area right here. They're also going to get an email saying that there is a markup that needs addressing. And there's a link in the email that will send them directly to the markup. Now, let's say that I was in a different part of my page and I clicked on a notification that was sent to me. That means that it'll take me to the markup itself. I can then open up the markups list and just make sure I'm going to deselect the markup and select it again so that it highlights itself in the list. There it is in the list. We have several previous replies and the most recent reply, we can see the date that it was made and the time. And we can see under comments the same set of information. So you can set a reply ahead of time with complex instructions, and then you can alert a specific attendee about that markup, and that way you can use both replies and alerts in conjunction with one another. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on replies and alerts in Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.